Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to The Source, your source for celebrity news. Check this out. I'm more than sure that a lot of you watched the first episode of Where is Wendy last night. And like me, you found out a lot of new information that you weren't aware of. Now, a lot of people on social media have already dropped videos sharing their thoughts and commentary on Wendy's situation. However, I don't want to do that because one, I don't want to jump the gun. And two, I want to see both episodes before I actually cover the story so that I can be as thorough as possible. But with that being said, in the first part of the documentary, we found out some very important things, including the fact that during the COVID-19 pandemic, Wendy blacked out when she was alone in her apartment due to alcohol poisoning, and she almost died. And the only reason that she didn't die is because DJ Booth just happened to show up at the apartment. But what everybody seems to find strange is that instead of DJ Booth calling 911, he called Wendy's son and they also contacted the management team before anybody bothered to call the EMTs. We also learn that Wendy is surrounded by a team of iffy yes men who appear to be hella shady because they're more interested in her money than her health. So check it. Seeing part one of Wendy Williams' documentary actually made me think back to a post that Wendy's ex-husband Kevin Hunter made about a year ago because now, when you put things in the proper context, his post makes a whole lot more sense. Listen, check out what Kevin Hunter had to say about the guardianship, about Wendy blacking out, and also about her current management team. And also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and make sure that you check back in for my next video, which is going to give you the most comprehensive, thorough, full breakdown about this whole Wendy situation that you have seen on the entire internet. <laughs> check this out. People that genuinely, you know what I'm saying, have been showing and giving nothing but support since I came on this gram <laughs> and the hard journey that it still is sometimes. I want to, you know, salute, toast y'all with water, make sure y'all hydrate. I'm, I'm blessed to be in some great weather. Where you getting enough, enough vitamin D and sun and, you know, making sure everything is good, you know, that's important. You know what I mean? Don't stay dark. Go to the light. Uh, for a lot of people that don't know me, you know, I normally stay in the back. I have been... Um, Fortunate enough, coming from Brownsville, Brooklyn, to have gone on a journey, been part of greatness, uh, appreciative, humble. You know, you're talking, to, you're looking at somebody with a 10th grade education and a GED. And what I've been able to learn and, and also gather and teach myself I've been fortunate um, there's a few things I want to kind of address I'm not going to take up too much of everybody's time for the people that uh, you can share but these are you know my, my words When it comes to um, whatever narratives that might be spun out there regarding me, my entire family, I want to first and foremost say that, you know, I, I, I respect, I truly respect and appreciate all that I was able to experience with my ex-wife and what we were able to accomplish. What she has accomplished clearly on her own, through her own merit, and what we were able to accomplish together. Um, there's 
there has been oh, also with that when it comes to my personal life and my professional life when it comes to my personal life of what the public has been able to see in real time I take full accountability for my actions and understanding you know how I might have hurt a lot of people who 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 was uh who witnessed seeing at the time one of the only black families in uh daytime television so I understand how passionate that people have been passionate through the years even before I came into the picture and continue there's uh haters that turn into lovers there was a lot of hard work that was put in around the clock that only me and her would understand before all the the hoorah and and where it went so i don't expect a lot of people to understand what sacrifice really means when you going for something or what you want to fulfill your mate at the times dreams only real dudes real will, 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 will can relate to this when you when you meet somebody and and you know you really want to um, see them excel and you put it on the line for them to the part to the point where you put yourself in the back cuz you want your queen to shine that's that's like um narrative and what came out of that regardless of what anybody would think was uh something extraordinary the sacrifices that we made to put all of that in front of the foundation that is family was something that we 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 suffered and and we succumbed to you know and and I will agree that you know for a large part of it when you know when you in the trenches doing things you know some of it is karma and even though from where a lot of you people see it you see it as well yeah you started to come you did it well it it was it was it was deeper than that and i'm not going to go i'm i'm being as forthright as i choose to be when making uh the real people here understand what it takes when you really sacrifice and you go all in see i was all in and i was i was given the opportunity to do that coming from straight hustle and and ingenuity and 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 using using my attributes to the best of my ability you know what i mean and for people who know they know for people who don't know you know i i i mean i'm a, i'm not going to over explain that but the opportunity that I, that that someone gave me I was very appreciative of at the time. This is this is the opportunity to manage one of the most uh polarizing and prolific talents outside of a, a Howard Stern. So I was I was honored. And it's a shame that 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 through all of that and through all of 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 what you really work hard to do you realize that damn when you get to that point something you know this this you know it ain't it ain't everything it ain't everything when it take away so much from 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 something and that's where everything went left but again i take full accountability and i stand on the principle of knowing that i did hurt somebody and for that i wish in her nothing but the best wellness and support and you know my deepest with that being said 
professionally what I did, what I've done, what I contributed to, what I was a, what I was what I was a huge part of, what was you know, well, what was uh, stripped from me because of whom I choose to be with and who I whom I choose like like you're not supposed to you're not supposed to. You know, personal relationships go on on the job all the time, you know what I mean? And, you know, when it happens in everyday situations, you choose not to speak to somebody, oh, you still see somebody, you keep it moving. But when you when it's on this level of what me and her was and what was being created and cultivated, and some in some cases originated, like, you got to deal with that accordingly. And I know my general makeup to a lot of people might seem a certain way. You, you hear a lot of things about people who don't know me. It's a small group of people who do. And I'm not trying to prove nothing. The people that I have helped, the people that I have been instrumental of being a catalyst to, they know who they are. And, you know, I wish nothing but the best still. Even when you do me dirty, it's like, all right, God got me, I'm good. He brought me this far, he gonna keep bringing me. And I don't wish nothing bad on the situation, so that's why I remain quiet throughout. You know, when I did choose to share certain pertinent things, people decided they wanted to exploit, twist it, you know, all for clicks. It's all good. God got me, he don't got you. To any event, um, what, 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 what happened to me as an executive in a business that does not have a lot of diversity was not called for. And I struggled with whether I was going to pursue this because after such a public divorce where everybody chose to do what they do in the movie and the, which I feel was not a right, rightful depiction of definitely spend more time on the, the real accomplishments and the defining moments that made her who she is. There's a lot of people that need to be thinking what she put down from TMZ on down, when there wasn't no platforms and all these, 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 these you know, wasn't no social media. But instead, you know, there's, there's, there was a bunch of, of hurt. There was a bunch of uh, people using the opportunity to discredit, take a personal situation and discredit uh, my hard work. Hard work where I never missed a day, maybe three days tops out of 10 years. She never missed one day. And because of that, the effects of that are happening now. See, if there's any other uh, 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 player, let's just say from a sport or what have you, and they, and, they, and they happen to have a season where they're injured or whatever, you, know, you give that person time to rehab and do what they need to do. But when you don't do that, then you risk, the, you risk more injury, more hurt, more pain. I wanted, no, I wanted, you know, I remained silent because I wanted the person that I was going through this with to, 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 not, to not go through as much pain, you know, as it was causing with, 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 with a deeper rooted issue at hand that everybody seems to have just thought just went into thin air. I didn't want that person to keep suffering. So I took whatever blows I needed to take and I still was helping. So for all of you people that just think, you know, it's about taking something, in the midst of my divorce, I, 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 I continued, I continued through the grace of God to save a person, save a person's life. Do me a favor, go on, so I cut the light on. I continue to, to, to go through that, 
to you know because that's who that's how that's the type of person I am. So I, I never stopped being that person. But through but through the course of the divorce, one of the fastest celebrity divorces in, in history, because I basically left whatever on the table just to have peace of mind and wanted her to have peace of mind. In doing so, I still had to save life. I still had to save her life. And there's some people that very much know what I'm talking about. Because they were responsible for almost seeing her life come to an end. There are, there's current people in place management that clearly put her in a life and death situation and denied medical coverage and care and if it wasn't for my son and myself stepping in That's it. And when I say step in, I mean, when you got somebody telling, you know, my son, who's the most beautiful spirit on the place, on, on this planet. You got people that's trying to objectify him right now because all he wants is his mother well. He don't care about none of that. He grew up in front of all of this. He don't know nothing, but he wants his mother well. Oh, you got somebody sitting there who just got there telling your son that no, you can't send these people up to a place to save her, to see, to do a, do a real wellness check. Not this, whole, this control stuff that's happening now, a real wellness check. When you got somebody telling a, 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 a 20 year old that to a point where he got to say, if you don't let these people upstairs to go look at my mom's, I'm calling 911. That's the only thing that allowed. For rescuers to get up there. And two blood transfusions later. That queen's still here. But people who, because of, I don't know, I don't know if it's pride or narrative, a narrative, a overall descent, you know, I understand that there was a bunch of people around me that, that didn't want to be around me. I get it. I come from a certain place. I understand that there was a bunch of people that couldn't wait till I get out the way so that they can to have their way. I get it. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I understand. But the amount of people that, 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 that knew exactly what was happening on my departure and not making sure that certain steps was in place because certain departments that's supposed to be, uh, when you had a, a normal situation, you're supposed to have different departments to deal with somebody of this magnitude in case anything happens. So I, you would have never seen this happen to an Ellen DeGeneres. You would have never seen this happen to a Jimmy Fallon. You don't hear about any of this stuff. But here, there's no installation for a person. And for the most part, there are people who absolutely know and, and, and they, they, they know so much, they ready to, to, they know. So I'm not just saying that, like, I'm telling y'all this because at the end of the day, it wasn't just about, it wasn't about half of what anybody thinks. I, don't, I know I don't owe anybody or everybody an explanation. I'm just being forthright right now. That was one of the instances. Wow getting dragged, you know, and that's cool. 
With that being said, professionally, when it comes to the lawsuit that I'm presenting, and what I what I waited, you know what I mean, to do, because I didn't know if I really wanted to go through anything after all this happened with the divorce. It's about the respect of, 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 of what I did contribute creatively. It's about not no disrespect to the people that came before and the people that clearly worked in the business longer than me. And I know that they never would have chose me. I had to inherit the situation. And I might not know how to uh, exactly produce a show, but I had to learn a lot real fast. And people, where I'm from, you have to adapt and learn stuff fast. So I adapted real fast, and I knew how to produce my peoples. In turn, she knew how to give the proper respect to me. And for that, I'm forever grateful. And a lot of people ain't understand that a lot of women would want to say, oh, you should have did this, had that, whatever, whatever. I don't compare my situation to none of the other kings out here that's that's married to powerful women and, and, and they might uh, earn more or do more because it takes, it takes a foundation that's real for any of that to survive. And for all the ones that's doing it on their own, salute to you. But for the ones that's, that's, that, that where, the, where the corporations come in and pretty much marry y'all, not the men that, 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 that's out here really you know, fighting and cherishing, but for the corporations that try to step in and become that. That's crazy. At the end of the day, I wasn't allowed to go get my belongings. I was objectified uh, as some sort of monster because I chose to have an extramarital relationship. Tell me where they fire you for, okay, you had a regular job, you could just say, I don't want to deal with you no more. But where they fire you, or, or, or cause, because you are not with somebody anymore, after being such a, su a successful part, an integral part, you might not want to really admit it, but if you didn't want me there, you really, we, it, other things could have transpired, and, and, and you know I would have been, I, I, I'm not going to stay in the way. It wasn't really the plan for me to be there that long anyway. I'm there to support my peoples and making sure it's right. She wanted me to be there, so I'm there. That's my peoples I'm going hard for. Like I go hard for my peoples now. That's just, that's just what it is. I know a lot of people don't understand why I chose to do what I did, whatever I did. And I don't really owe you no explanation, but to say that I, I go with, 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 with realness and honesty and, and integrity. And I don't always be where the money's at. And wh whatever happened between me and my ex-wife happened way before. And, and, and you know what? We worked ourselves into a situation where we just either had to keep working or we was bound to crash. And that we did. In terms of her wellness to date, I, I'm, 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 I'm totally supportive of my son, who is a, 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 a beautiful spirit, a gentle giant, and will probably soon be objectified as some sort of a uh, monster, somebody that's trying to take advantage of his mother, even though he's her only heir. But he soon will be objectified like that. And you know what? He's not going to deserve that because he's a better, he's not that. All of this for the sake of, 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 of business and money. I understand the essentialness of all of that. I understand that, you know, things come to an end. But when you look at what happened in the interim of my departure, you, you can draw your own conclusions and understand that if the opposite would have happened and she would have flourished and been so much better without any of my involvement whatsoever, 
and 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 I wish and pray that and hope that, that you know like she meets somebody and and and, and love continues and we still can be respectful with how we have to deal with whatever because we do have a beautiful specimen of a, of a son that that still needs us if it would have went the other way I would nothing but applaud it and I probably would not even look to 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 to, to seek the respect that that's rightfully mine as I struggle with even making this decision to go with this lawsuit All we want, all we, all, 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 everyone need is some peace and some and some time right now. And regardless of, of of however her family might feel about me, I got nothing but love and respect for them. I wish them well. God bless them. There's a lot, you know, and I just God bless them all. Be part of my son's family. Look, I don't have no hate. Whatever hate I had, I left when when I left New York. I left it there along with all the bad energy and frequencies. At the end of the day, the lawsuit is about anybody after me going through a similar, somewhat similar situation and is fighting, you know, for their respect. No disrespect to the people that were supportive, but for anybody that really wasn't and you was there, then you know, this is the product. This is this is this is, this is like what the outcome is, and you know, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time because I, I you know, and I'm not gonna be jumping on this all the time. I can't say um, I'm taking no questions or anything like that. The people that I'm suing at Debmar Mercury, affiliated with Lionsgate, for wrongful termination, at the end of the day, the people, the handlers, everybody that's surrounding the situation, there's a motive that's getting real ugly. And even for people that, that, that have grown to, to, to dislike and they, they looking at this like this is some live TV show and you just enjoying the antics, just understand that the helm of all of this is someone that's really fighting, you know, for 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 for, for theirs. And 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 wherever I stepped away and try to give them room to do and create, just so that, you know, without all of the hoopla. Like that's the see, like my new legacy that that's also a part of me. That's that's part of me. You know? And and I support Elizabeth uh, I salute Elizabeth Warren and her whole plight against the Wells Fargo system of banking and what's happening with these predatory people out here. And understand that that, fight, that whole fight when you're dealing with these banks, it gets real crazy. It's a lot of it's a lot of people that are not in a position to have any kind of voice or platform, and they're elderly or what have you, and they're getting preyed upon with they with they with they wealth or whatever they have. And if you want to narrow that down to how our people is ranked in that, then it's even worse. As far as you know. Again, thanks to Hunter Publishing for allowing me to be on this on this platform. You know, I I, I could have did a whole lot of different things. You know, I'm going to probably repost this. You know, I just wanted to talk to y'all without a whole lot of extraness. I am going to start doing a few things to support what I'm doing respectfully and the, and the amazing people that that I'm working with. As far as, you know, as far as anybody else that's out there with the, uh, the, the negativity and the people that's clicking and the people with the weird obsessions for me, look, I, I ain't got nothing but dust for them. Y all, y all, you know, we, I'm not even, I'm not on trying to 
make this a whole suit campaign against a whole bunch of people and all like that. Like, like I got things I have to do and still accomplish for the legacy that is, that is, you know, this, this is really what that's about too. I'm part of somebody else's legacy and then I have, to, I'm establishing my own legacy for both of my kids, my beautiful kids and my current lovely situation with my partner. My friend, my confidant. I want to give a special uh, love and support to Vegan Nose and, and Vish and all those platforms. And I'm, I'm honored to be part of that. When it comes to the support I got and continued support I will have no matter what, from a near, from far, I don't wish, I wish nothing but the best in health and wellness and know that the person that I know, as long as they stay focused and, 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 and get to what's really important in your process, when you're dealing with recovery, when you're dealing with any type of real trauma, you know, you just gotta make it about yourself. The best thing that I could have did was make it about myself through this, through this turmoil and focus more on the foundation. Because money is essential, but it definitely ain't everything, everything. And the way that this world is going, it looks like you gotta have more than just money. Yeah, friend and confidant, that's my peoples. Serena Hudson, she's a warrior. She's a, she, 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 you know, she is, that's my people, for real. And she is family. And I do have family. And I will continue to have family. And my family is unfortunately what I make because of, of, of just how my whole family is. And, you know, that's a whole nother story. Um, I will, I, my, the support I will continue to have for my son, the, the support that I will continue to have. No matter what takes place, you know, no matter, like, 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 there's stuff that y'all will never understand that goes on behind the scenes, and you know, no matter what type of picture someone tries to paint. Just, just, just know that there's a lot. There's a lot that has been, there's a lot that has happened. And we will not rule out the fact that, you know, in a lot of situations, you know, you could be worth more dead than alive. Depending on what kind of insurance policies and whatever people have. And I hope that God continue doing what he's doing to make, you know what I'm saying, make make the, the impossible possible. And I hope he continue giving everyone out there that's supportive of the strength do you know what I'm saying? Keep powering through everything that's happening in this crazy world right now. I understand there's a lot of talk shows that's getting canceled, you know, because people are into uh, so much nonsense. But through the trials and the tribulations, there are some Jews that are brought, and you know, when, 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 when Wendy was going through rehab, Rehabilitation, excuse me. Let me be very clear. When she was be, being rehabilitated, an opportunity came for people to fill in her show two years ago when things were uh, somewhat awry. And everyone knew it, including the people in her subordinates and everybody knew it. When all that was happening and then desperately had to fill in spots. 
I was very intricate in, 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 in suggesting and telling them Nick Cannon is a very, very good choice. No disrespect, and while they were working with Jerry O'Connell, who's also a phenomenal talent, I said, Nick Cannon, and that turned into, you know, a whole thing. And, you know, I, I salute Nick Cannon, and, and it's unfortunate that, you know, you couldn't get the support that you needed. Whatever support that we received during while, during while I was there, the support that we received had to come by hook or crook in a sense with, you know, just 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 pressuring and sometimes not coming across, you know, so likable. But I'm fighting for my family at the time. This is not just somebody I'm representing. There's some no disrespect to the managers that's out there that's really representing their people and going hard and, and they would damn near die for their people. Well, I, this is my family, so I'm, I'm definitely in that position where I would die for mine. So I'm gonna go hard for mine. So when everybody else go home to their families, this is I gotta take this home and deal with everything. So yeah, I'm going hard. And what, what you're seeing from, from season one in terms of aesthetic style, not taking nothing away from the country, con contributions but when it comes to the personal style of it all and what you know what 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 needed to come across because when you're not a sample size in daytime television when you're not the size of Kelly Ripper and all of them then you gotta buy clothes so what you've seen and how it was presented was all fighting behind the scenes for 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 budget to open to make sure that while the only person who could sit in a chair for 25 minutes a day, even against all all the women, all the men, even the men in day, the nighttime uh, talk shows, uh, uh, late, they don't have monologues that go for 25 minutes, 12 minutes tops. She's there for 25 minutes just engaging with these people. So, you gotta look the part. And, and she was the only person that, that, that still can do it effectively. No disrespect to anybody, her predecessors, people after her. I salute y'all, I wish y'all the best. But what had to happen in terms of, 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 of the fight of sorts to get to that point was something And I remember, you know, somebody, I remember Shaquem Compare told me at the beginning of the journey, he said, look, there's not a lot of positive images of black people on television, man. So to make sure that stuck with me. So, so that was my blood sweat. Hello? 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 I guess I'm not on. Hello? Back. I'm back. Listen, I'm not here at time. Like I said, you know what this? 115 people, a thousand people, I, it don't matter. You know? I ask people to spread it to the people that matter. And, you know, as long as you know, that's what's up. But, uh, like I was saying, at the end of the day, a lot goes into being part of any kind of production. And, at the, at, and I, I feel honored to have been part of it. But the way it all went down, it definitely could have been more professional about it. And I'm sick and my justice, for my legacy, for everything that is me. Um, moving forward, I, I, I appreciate everybody's support and, you know, not just Hunter Publishing, but, you know, the people that came and supported Loretto in Brooklyn, NYC, 
the people that hopefully you know is gonna support the new the new uh, endeavor in Brooklyn. We doing Caribbean vegan. Um, I will not continue to beat a drum. You know what I mean? When it comes to all of this, at some point, you know, if I get to writing a book, you know what I mean, and I, and I feel like I, I've had enough memorable moments, I'll do that. I'm not trying to capitalize off of any hype, which is why I remain quiet. But this, uh, this one here is just about respect. Um, when you got people that's when you when you got people that you really help carve out something, you know, something that you know, two hundred after two hundred thirty eight shows, you know, you, that came and went, there's something stayed there, and you know, you don't give credit or respect. Now, I just happen to be black, but you don't give credit or respect. That that there's there's a problem with that. And you know, if there's someone else going through a divorce or, or you know, and they happen to be an executive producer and you give them all the room and time in the world to deal with their issue. But this situation here, you know, was just about, you know, turning it and uh, you know into uh on a reality show. For the people who are dwelling on the fact that I had a baby, a beautiful daughter, a beautiful, beautiful, smart daughter, but a beautiful person. Just know that at the end of the day, before before there was any, and again, I take accountability for all my actions as a man, and I'm and I and I'm sorry that I hurt someone to that degree when it came to fulfilling. A piece of my happiness. I've always been a family-oriented person, even though I'm not close with a bunch of my family. And I would have loved to create more family. But again, when you sacrifice, you know, the business, it's only people that's running a real race don't understand. When you run in a race, sometimes you don't find time or, or can foresee that if that's not part of your real foundation. And you know, for a long time, I, I, I thought that you know what, you know what, you get to the to, to somewhat of the top, because there was still some some ways to go. When you get to somewhat of the, of the top of a situation, and you think, yeah, this is what it is. Well, you know what, I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of stuff and and, and do all that, but this is not what it is. I a, a, a person need more than just this. They need foundation over everything. I've seen people with much less be more happier with their foundations, even where I'm at. I'm sorry that the, uh, yo, yo, make sure, make sure, no. I'm sorry that the, 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 I'm sorry that the, the, that the, that the, the emergence of life, how I decided to bring it, hurt her and, 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 the, and the whole, uh, stereotype of what happens when a man does that. I understand that, that that you can't make everyone happy in that instance, but I do not regret what happened. I was not trapped into what happened. As a matter of a fact, and again, I'm, I'm I'm profusely apologetic for for the impact it caused. I I, I realize that, but as a matter of fact, the mother of my child. When we discovered that she was like, no, you know, we don't need to. She was the first one to, 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 to try to suggest an alternative. And I actually said no. And that's because of the joy that I needed to have in my life at the time. Because of whatever was happening at 100 miles an hour 
and it happening right under me and, and, and around me that, you know, from whatever type of control freak people paid me out to be, there was a lot of things I couldn't control. But yeah, I could have controlled my actions better if I chose to. But until you've been in my shoes wholeheartedly to understand exactly what I was dealing with, you can't tell me nothing. I don't know too many men that could have done exactly what I did. And I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to act like I'm just saying the truth. I don't know too many people that could have done and bared the weight of what I did wholeheartedly. And I don't know too many people that could have did what she did. That's why she stand on her, 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 her throne no matter what. But for whatever we were supposed to be together as at a point where I, I fought, I fought for family many a days. I fought to bring my son here. I fought to try to keep an assemblance of what the, what, the, what, the, what the essence of family is. And I've been on my own since I was 15 years old. So whatever I'm trying to put together as family to be family first, I stood on that strong. And what happened? What happened is, you know, family didn't, didn't stand that. Family wasn't a priority. Like, like it should have been. When you chase something more, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you chase something more and you start to forget, you know, what's important and, and what's, what's like, like it's never supposed to be the other way around. Like, like it's supposed to be this first and, and, and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it all out, no matter what happens. But when it's not that no more, and you got a million people and devils and serpents and snakes and salamanders and all that, you know, trying and, you know, trying and, you know, and, and feeding and enabling. And let's be clear, the enabling happened at an all time high when I was desperately trying to, 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 to get right. I don't care how much partying we done did and, 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 and drinks, whatever. You get to a point where you got to get right. But when people want to keep you in a certain state, they enable. And, you know, and there was enabling happening clearly after after my departure. There was enabling happening towards the end of my departure. And there were people that basically were saying, like, you know, even though we know there's a certain level of help needed, we're not... It's getting behind it. We're not supporting that. We just want to make sure. We just want to make sure that she, you know, that, that, that she can do it. So, you know. When you got so many things stacked and then as soon as you get out of the way, soon, 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 soon as you, you know, you can say, hey, if I, if I place myself out of the way, if you think I fucked up the bag or whatever you want to say, like at the end of the day, the blessings came tenfold. I, 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 I wanted my son to have another sibling on this earth so that he can have somebody else to count on. So I have some immediate family. I want him to have blood. Um, to get specific about a lot of things, again, one of the many things that 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 that, that I did, you know, during a divorce in the midst of not just before the divorce, I'm talking about during, was very integral in helping my son save his mom's life. While current management was ready for her to die. Leaving her to die, imminent danger. And was on call. And if you really wanna keep it funky, that's, 
you know, the whole situation with DJ Booth, and that's, that's you know, shouts to you, my dude, but to keep it funky, like, you know, he called me. I had to ask him why. He said, because he couldn't call anybody else. A whole staff of people there, and she's in a, a, a damn near a, a state that is, 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 is crazy. People know she's in this state. People have seen what happened. They see she's broadcasting from the house. You seeing what's happening. Because it's pre-taped, you don't do anything. You just, just cut off the feed. And leave, leave the DJ guy who happened to think fast, manning everything in the house. Where they do that at? You think if Ellen or somebody is broadcasting from their house that, you know, They would do that? Or Jimmy Fallon? Or the cast of The View? You would have at least five or six people on call. No, it's just Booth. And when he called me and told me what was happening, there was another individual that was there, that, that, that was there and knew, it was damn near like family that happened to jump in and see and help save while Management sat back and just let it all just happen. So, current management, y'all do the math, y'all figure it out. Current and only management sat back. I happen to have been in New York taking care of summer fog. I gotta come back down here and start my life. My son is in Florida. You gotta get an emergency medical team to come in and 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 and, 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 and try to a private one. And you got this guy denying coverage. He's denying coverage for this person to come on this, to come upstairs, for these people to come upstairs and save this woman's life. So when my son got to threaten and say, I gotta, I'm gotta, i gonna call 911 if you don't let them up. You never decided to call in the midst of everything. You didn't even call to see about how what previous doctors she might have that I had knowledge of. You didn't try to follow up with none of that. So whatever went awry, went awry. And now you got a person that's just getting ready to, you know. You got a person that's, that's getting ready to damn near die. And they got to have two blood transfusions later. But these are also the same people that in the midst of the whole breakup and a distraught person, emotionally distraught person, they decided to pick the management. They, you know, like a real conflict of interest. They, they, they bring in people that they got in pocket to, get, to, to be involved. So now the whole control game is, is, at, a, um, is, at, a, is at an all-time high. It's all about control. They don't care if somebody gets well. They don't care if somebody is, 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 is functional. It's about control. And the control that they felt they had after I left, the control they thought I had when I was there, and that was my ex-wife. This person, this person was going through some real stuff before any baby news or anything happened. This is some real stuff happening, and I'm not trying to dis. It ain't about dishing. This is about understanding what a person got to go through. I've had many people in my family, my immediate family, go through stuff. And, and whoever is on here who have a, remotely a family member that's really went through something, it's it's it's, it's you know. And just because you got money and you go through a whole, you 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 you, you, you know you. Masquerade, masquerade stuff with, you know, makeup and that, you know, when you take all that off, the person that you are is who you are. Um, there's going to be a few more things that pop up in the course of how this is, you know, how this is evolving out.
and I ask y'all to really use your third eye when you're thinking about and seeing what's going on. Don't, don't, don't look at things on the surface, y'all. Listen, like I said, I'm not quite ready to give you my full commentary on this, but if you tune into my next video, I'ma surely break it down. Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celebrity news. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.